You don't want the set to overpower a play ever, but you do want it to um, boost it emotionally and help those themes really hit. Mary Zimmer Zimmerman's Metamorphoses is adapted from Ovid's work. Her use of water as a sort of metaphor that propels the whole work is amazing. It's such an intricate production and it's such a big set to put together with the pool that's over there and these clouds that are going to be hanging and everything else. It's a really beautiful production and I'm excited to do it. One of the things that stuck with me early on was was the idea of water and the cyclical nature of it, the rising of it in steam, the raining of it in, in weather and storm, um, the pooling of it in this pool, and how it um, kind of mimics a lot of the imagery and themes of the play. I think the biggest challenges are logistical. It's huge. So you get this play that you love and you think about it for a long time and then you start talking to designers, uh, Nina and Wendy, and Wendy's got this massive chart that she brought to me, right, of the costumes. And what she's interested in is who is wet and how wet are they at what point in the play and where do they go and when can they change and does the costume have to be dried? We've pretty much made everything able to get wet if it has to, but we do that in costumes anyway because we like to wash things. I like that everything changes all the time. It's never the same show for very long and just when you're sick of something and then you never want to look at it again, it's gone and you don't have to. I love the creativity, I love that I design. I mean, that's, that's awesome. But I could do that anywhere. I could work anywhere, but these guys, that's what makes it fun. They're crazy. <laughs> I love working with the students. They keep you on your toes, you always are learning, um, and they're, they, keep, they make it fun. Top notch fantastic people. The cast concerns of 15 really extraordinary young actors and there'll be an entire uh, deck crew, students running the lights, all of it. So it's sort of a massive undertaking, which I'm really excited about providing those opportunities for our students here, uh, giving everybody something interesting to work on. I've learned to change your clothes <laughs> before coming to shop supposed to come out to look like stained glass, so we're painting um, with these metallic paints, right? yes. iridescent paints, so that they do reflect the light in different ways once they're put up top on the proscenium. I think that over a lifetime, the best part turns out to be doing something creative daily and uh, being able to participate in that way in the world, to feel like something's being built, something's being attempted, uh, something's being generated that's positive instead of uh, destructive. And uh, being able to do that with the extraordinary students and staff here is a remarkable opportunity. There's a part of what we do in theater that's very magical. When you work professionally in the theater world, get kind of used to what you do and you don't stop to think how unusually different it is as, as a job. When students see me paint something or mix a color or whatnot and it's something new to them, it seems like it's magic and then it keeps it more fresh for me and it makes me see the magic in it too. 